Okay, so last time we got to roughly about here in the tutorial, and we've got the top line, the top rings, the line, uh, the points there. We've got the lines. We had the top net. That's got the line in the middle. We can get rid of that one in a wee second. In fact, I'll do that now. An extended line. We don't need to see that. Um, this is all a bit messy. Let's group. This is the TRPT set. So let's group that. Oh, if I am in here, call it the. Let's turn it into a group. TRPT. Let's tidy all this up a little bit so we know where we are. This is the. But I'll take that line there out. I'll just group these ones. Could tidy up a bit more within here, but lots of aligning functions and neatening functions. This is the turbine net, and so yeah, the top is in the group. It tells you what each group is. Now we've got our topping cone net. Now I just did a, a little, um, a little tutorial uh, looking at the other side and it didn't record properly darn it so this might look a little bit different to how you saw it before because I, I moved things about and I grouped some things here and I was explaining to myself it turns out that uh, let's have let's have a look at what the parts are basically you don't need to hear my woes uh, we have got let's have a look so these are the bridle lines up at the top uh, these points I have taken from, let's have a look here, the, lift this out a bit. I took an old model of a lift kite and brought it in, okay, so I just, I just used one and that's got four points basically uh, to stick the bridles on, roughly. It, we're, we're not being very particularly fussy about how we've done this, uh, yeah, one of them is there and that has lines onto the end of this extended lift line. Did we look at that lift line previously? Uh, oh, no, again, what we've done is we've gone to the end of that, um, the topping cone line. I see, I'm loving my extended lines at the moment. Uh, gone on to the end of that one, taken that point and moved it. Uh, we've used the direction. Ah, this is a, let me get you a vector display. use vectors quite a lot so from the end of that we're gonna this is the point you have to put in and this is the vector um, so oh, yeah that's the the vector display uh, it shows you okay the the two points that this we've got a vector system here so it's one of the points from the line and the extension of the line the end point of that uh, that just shows us which way the line is pointing um, yeah, this display shows us, you know, we, we could link this display to a, a different part. We could, you know, put it from down there or, yeah, wherever. Um, we're going to move something in that direction. What are we moving? We've got some geometry. Oh, that's not a point I've taken. The geometry we're moving. Can I get rid of that just now? Um, is that a line? Hmm, that's odd. We've taken that up and we're going to spin it round. Well, again, it seems like I've gone for a fairly bizarre way of doing things. Um, yeah, that's, uh, I think I could have just adjusted the direction I was sending this, uh, this, this point. Yeah, I could, I could have moved the end point further up instead of taking that line earlier on and then moving it around within the, about the Y plane. So about the the y direction ah okay so i'm yeah trying to make this line a bit more vertical by it. so y is going into the seam here um the y direction sort of across that way where's my i should look at yeah so we're rotating sort of about this point looking into it or across here um right there if we do that That's a fairly odd way of doing it. And again, I'm extending a line. Oh my goodness, I'm loving extending lines. Why Why is that so much work? Okay, 
Um, so that's that's how I made my lifting lines. I'll hide that just now because we don't really need that stuff later on. All we're interested in is the area. We, we you know we know this is going to be a top. All we're really interested in is looking at what is the area of kites. So how do we even get kites onto there? That's that's the important bit today. Uh, I've blacked out the you know just I've disabled the the back line here. We're not looking at that. Um, so let me show you where that was, just in case that uh, confuses you a bit. Uh, that was down here. There's a bit of a catenary line from the top to bottom, and there's just a wee bit of pipe stuff at the bottom, just to say, okay, some sort of robot is down there. Uh, if I can zoom in. Oh, I'm a bit fluidy here today. I've got my, my nice pointer very loose. Uh, yeah, my zoomer, right, okay. Okay, but anyway, we don't need to see that stuff, so we'll get rid of that. Uh, there was some extra gunk here we don't need to see. What we are interested in, we've got the rings, up lines, and we've got those points. Okay, these points are where we're going to use. I've, uh, I've grouped this in my earlier effort at recording a tutorial that didn't record properly. Let's hope this one's working. Um, these are planes. We're going to develop some, uh, you know, not like aeroplanes, but uh, just uh, flat planes. And they, they're going to relate to places on the net here. Okay, so we use these points and analyze, you know, where these points, um, if I turn on the, the center line again, the, the main line, and it's on, ah, okay, you can see that somewhere. In fact, uh, we can't quite see it because it's, Showing somewhere else again. Let's find out where. Yeah, it was. It was up here. Okay, let's turn that one off. And okay, we'll leave those on. Right. So yeah, these points. We're going to reference them with how close they are to this line. This is the closest point on that curve. Um, is there? The, so the closest point to that point is there. There are like five points here. Um, so we we'll have a look at the list. Yeah, there's five, and it sets of yeah four lots. I'm not going to put blades down here, so we're going we're going to filter that out in a wee while. We're going to you know do a a list. Probably going to get rid of the zero width set there. Um, so from that we've got a vector. Let's do a vector display, and on those points there. What is that vector? Uh, ah, okay, that's the points on the inside. Let's do it from the points on the outside. Yeah, it's pointing out the way. Now what we end up with, we can, this is a, is a plane here. We're gonna show the origin and the Z is the, the, yeah, what your Z axis is basically. It's just gonna point away from, it's gonna be kind of in line with that. Um, it's gonna point away from this T tangent here to the point on the curve. Now that's going to be a fairly awkward kind of direction. Now let's have a wee look at it. Um, yeah, not quite what we were expecting. So we have to align <coughs> these planes with that vector. I'll turn off the vectors now. In fact, I'll delete that. And um, you can see how that's the original one. This one is there but we now have control over you know fair you know fairly well described point i maybe didn't have to go through all this again I, i'm probably wasting time i'm being a bit inefficient but here was the point earlier on of this part this part that we didn't really have a look at and uh, this was the the bank angle up the stack so with oh, let's zoom in on those planes It's, I'm very zoomed in, it's very twitchy. Um, with these groovy grass map, uh, the, the, the mappers, graph mappers that I really like, we can you know get really fine control over where everything is relative to each other. So if I zoom out and look at a different one and when you do that, you can see that green plane is moving with regards to the red one there. Oh, let me just, let's have a look. Yeah. 
so yeah we've got, got some nice control over that so why have we got these planes here roddy why are you talking about that so the reason is uh, and again like i'll say we'll take out the, the bottom plane there shortly um because i'm not going to put any blades down on here what we're doing is we're putting blades we're putting some geometry onto these planes we're using this component here the orient so we move some um blades i can show you them here what do we got it's called plan form and curve we've got this curve uh, it's not even curved it's, it's a, a bit of a, a solid shape and i reference that shape there i've just made you know drawn something that's a bit wingish uh, oh isn't it curvy who knows if i could even make that goodness me we'll, we'll find out it's a bit fancy looking but i reference that in oh that's that part and you know that part is, is like the angle part is meant to be like a cuff where it would join onto these rods and given that i'm going to be changing the numbers of blades and such it's a nonsense part and completely irrelevant at the moment um so yeah this shape here is the, the you know we could put in any shape we could put in a nasa uh, naca profile naca profile and extrude it maybe we you know we could use an yeah we could you know we could take some shape in and give it a direction uh, a vector and a vector magnitude and make our own shapes within grasshopper so you could have something that optimizes automatically in grasshopper and has feedback and tells you okay for that shape you, you'll have this size we could analyze the area that way but we're taking a, a reference shape from rhino in this case and oh luckily we're only using that one um and we're going to take this shape and, and put it onto these planes i'm going to show you that now there's the shape on the plane we've done one more thing we, we've scaled it so i can um, you know, shrink it grow it um so that we can change that live and we take that shape out and what else can we do then well with you know with what we had earlier we can you know change the diameters we can do all that still um, you know, move where the rings are on the, the stack how much twisted round they are um, and the bank angles um, so really how much twisting um, how much sort of it almost looks like they're flapping that's great they're very birdy um, I'm going to get rid of that curve now because we know where that's coming like I said the um, that curve there we I referenced that the, the it curve it's a it's a surface um, it's the geometry I referenced it in here and internalized it into the grasshopper document so right clicking on that you can internalize it and it's it's set within the document so that can go with you when you copy it from one grasshopper document to another um, so yeah I don't really need that there at all it, it doesn't really exist Ooh, what's that um, piece left over what have I got there oh it's planes and I'm surprised it's showing there why is there a plane there uh, must be a remnant of something up here um the other part here are these um, the other parts are some points so i have these points ah i should probably show you that again there are some points on here let's do that and oh. these points define where the bridles are going to meet I, I send these points onto the same plane definitions i use these planes that we developed up here that are spread there's a whole bunch of planes yeah three by five and onto these planes we broadcast we, we send we orient these points that, that we've gotten so these points are used to define the the bridling later on let's see how that works the i'm going to turn them on So each one of those points gets sent up here. If I was to move that red piece there, we can change all the bridles out that way. Um, it might be better instead of just defining um, 
you know, where that point is here, if we had that point worked out in the grasshopper so that it would always be sort of perpendicular to the wing or something. Um, the other way I've, I've got the, you know, the other end of the connection is here. It's defined just along the length of the line and that should probably be roughly the same number as this one uh, for neatness and easy tying because that's how I'm going to end up making it <coughs> probably. I just got the same space, but um, yeah, bridling is a, a bit of a black art, really. It's a bit, uh, yeah, it's a bit, uh, a bit of a craft, so it is working that out. Um, oh, you know, there, there are experts in it. There are people who are darn good at it. Anyway, we're looking at the area, aren't we? We're looking at um, how much area is cast. Let's continue with that. The Okay, so I, I kind of, from that, I've, I've worked out where these displays are, um, where, where, how these display. The, the next part really is going to be sort of analysis of the area. Before we go into the analysis, I'll just show you the, um, I tend to take you know, everything into an entwined, so I can group all of the bits that I want shown or moved or analyzed into one piece um, it just helps with grouping everything together so that I can turn everything on and off or uh, you know break it all out um, if I turn that all off up there and if I, I can then you know turn everything on or off here at once um, and work on individual parts also you can you know, color stuff out so that it's it becomes a bit more obvious so the point of this part here the dispatch but once I've made those wings um, and I can't see them because I've got these turned on so once I've made those wings I dispatched them into two groups so coming in here we had five wings see the one two three has got five uh, remember it's one, it, there's not zero one two three because I've masked off the zeroth set uh, from here, dispatch does, it goes A, then B, then A, then B, so it shuffles them out. We've got three in the A set, we've got uh, two in the B sets, and the reason I've done this is to make them orange and white. Why orange and white? Because that's what airfields, and um, yeah, just for uh, conspicu uh, conspicuous um, look over airfields and uh, in airspace. They like orange and white. Not sure in terms of kites is that, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe we'd have the top surfaces orange and white or the bottom surfaces orange and white. Uh, who knows? But yeah, that's a bit of a standard, I think. So I'll stick with it. Who am I to argue? Um, right, turned off the, the blade. We don't need that there. Um, worth at this point having a play with the, the blades and such. Oh, am I upside down here? I think I am. Let's get that right wing up. Yeah, it gets a bit disorientating, doesn't it? Yeah. We don't need to see all this. I can turn the lifter off. I can probably turn off, um, I guess, this is the top parts here. We can turn that off. This is all we're really interested in. Um, so we're going to, I'll, I'll, I'll do a pause here, make another video, and we'll have a look at from this. Now that we've got these blades, what sort of you know what are they casting what sort of shapes are they cutting through what sort of area of wind is this cutting through um what is it uh, are we casting this if we look at the you know you imagine the wind is going to be coming horizontally these ones are going to be interrupting there these ones are going to be interrupting there we'll look at that in the the next one <laughs> 